Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about some updates on the Go charting. So first update is related to watch list. So in the watch list, first of all, you can resize these columns. Say for example, this is the LTP column. I can resize it to the right. Okay. Or to the left. So that is one update. Second, I can also choose the field list for these columns. So for example, for the second column, I can choose these field lists and for the third column, I can choose these field lists. Okay. Third thing is I can now drag and shift the stocks up and down. Now, if I want to shift the nifty on the top, I can simply drag it towards the top. Right. Then the next feature is we can add notes to the stocks. So here if I want to add my notes on nifty, I can press on add notes and I can add some notes here. Then for the watch list views, we have this list mode, compact mode and the candle mode. So if I'm having in the list mode, sorting of watch list is easy. So I can click on the symbol and it will sort by the name. I can click on the LTP, it will sort by the LTP. I can click on the change and it will sort by the change. But in case of compact mode and candle mode, we have also added some sorting features. So here you can sort by ascending LTP, descending LTP, change percentage and volume. The same is true for the candle mode. Then we have added a new measure tool which will measure the cumulative volume delta, volume and open interest. So this you can access the tool from here. It is called the measure tool. If you click on the measure tool, and what you can do is you can simply click on one candle to another candle and in the range it will tell you all these things like what is the CVD, what is the uh, change in the open interest and what was the volume, the number of bars and all those things. Now suppose if you want to keep on checking these parameters for different ranges, what you can do is you can log this draw mode. Okay. And now if you select this tool. So you can select it from here to here or then you can select it from here to here or then you can select from here to here. So if you select this draw mode and then you select this measure tool, then you don't have to press this measure tool again and again. You can simply keep on selecting the range and it will show you the values. So that was the second update. Now we have added some more shortcuts for the order flow, market profile and volume profile. So the list of shortcuts is here. You can see in the hotkeys. So if you click on here, we have these shortcuts for charts, axis, drawings, watch list. Okay. So here we have added new shortcuts for order flow. So if you want to change your block size, you can simply press this semicolon button and your block size will be changed. So let me show this to you. I'm pressing this semicolon button and here it is asking for change order flow block size. The other shortcuts are split market profile. So you can split market profile by pressing the shift and double click. You can merge market profiles by pressing the control and double click. Then you can also unmerge the market profile by alt plus double click. You can use these shortcuts to apply fixed range volume profile. Then we have added one more cursor type that is called dot cursor type which can be seen here. Also, we have added more metrics on the pointer plus tooltip. So here you can see there are more metrics added like cumulative delta, minimum delta, OHLC, open interest and other things. The next update is related to stock events. So for example, this reliance stocks, these are the earning dates. So now if you right click over here, you can simply select which parameter you want. Like you want to see the dividends or the splits or the insider trading. So if you want to see, you can tick. If you don't want to see, you can untick those parameters. The next update is related to this financials. So if you click on this financials, let me maximize it. Now we have more number of features on this corporate events. So here you can see the dividends. You can see the splits. You can also see the shareholding patterns, which is updated here. All right. So these were the few updates as of now. One more video on the updates will come, which will be related to how you can manage your drawings, how you can do groupings of the drawings and indicators. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.